All right, guys, let's see how we can install uh, WordPress under Ubuntu. So first we will install the Apache server. We will type sudo apt install Apache 2 and we'll wait the packages to be downloaded and installed on our system. Keep in mind that uh, this will automatically create our server so we'll be able to browse it directly by typing our local host address. Uh, so this will be the check if our Apache server is working. All right, we can check if the installation is uh, working correctly. And when we click, we see the default uh, page of Apache has been loaded. As we see, our files right now are hosted under var www.html directory. The next thing we would like to do is to install a PHP. So type sudo apt install PHP. Again, we are downloading all the needed packages and we are installing a PHP. Uh, we can check by PHP uh, minus version. And we see that we have uh, PHP 7.2 installed on our computer. Now we can go to this directory var pv html and here we will remove the index.html file and uh, then we will create a new one so we'll type sudo nano index.php we'll open up just the php tag and let's say echo high just to see if the support of php is enabled we save the file and we will refresh uh, our browser uh, okay this was the default page as we can see nothing happens uh, when we refresh our web page this is because we need to enable the communication between the apache and the php for this we'll use a helper module this module is called lib apache 2 mod php it will automatically configure apache to use the php parser uh, so once again now we'll try to execute our file and to run it in our browser uh, we'll go to the browser and click f5 and we see uh, our php code has been executed successfully next we'll install for the database of our wordpress mariadb it's pretty much similar to the uh, mysql db so we'll type sudo apt install maria db server and maria db client we see that the installer will download the needed packages and uh, the database will be installed as well as the server and the client into our system the next thing we would like to do is to secure our mysql installation by setting up default password so we'll just type sudo mysql secure installation we enter empty password uh, because this is our initial installation of uh, MariaDB and now we can set the root password and we can remove anonymous users we can also disallow the login of uh, root users remotely use this option if uh, you're planning to develop on your own uh, computer we can also remove the test database and we will accept uh, the real out of all uh, privileges all right so we are ready and maria db is uh, set up uh, for usage all right so now we'll create a new user with escalated privileges which will be used for access to a database of the wordpress and also we'll create the default wordpress uh, database so we'll enter with sudo uh, mysql into our uh, maria db and here uh, we can type show databases and we see how we have MySQL, Information Schema and Performance Schema. So we'll type Create Database WordPress. Uh, all right, our database is uh, created. And the next thing uh, is to set the user and uh, its uh, privileges. So we'll type Create User. Our user will be VP User. So we'll type Quote VP User. Then we'll be accessing localhost. And then identify it by and here we will type the password of our user it will be let's say password and if we go to 
our MySQL database and uh, select uh, everything from the table user. Now we can see here that uh, this user is uh, uh, created and also it has a uh, uh, hashed password uh, here. And the last thing we would like to do inside of this uh, prompt is uh, to give uh, privileges to this user. So for this we will type grant all privileges on and here we have to type our database, it's called WordPress and all the tables inside of this WordPress we would like to uh, give those permissions on and we'll give uh, permissions to our user which was VP user at localhost identified by and here we'll type password this will be the user password and uh, this way we have escalated uh, privileges which are needed for the installation of the WordPress and now we can see uh, if this has been successful so we can just type show uh, grants for our VP user at localhost and okay this is localhost and we see that uh, uh, we have uh, privileges over the uh, WordPress uh, database so we exit from here and the next thing to do is to go to our temporary directory and with wget to get the latest version of uh, WordPress and it's on address https wordpress.org latest.tar.gz okay we'll get this archive and it's around 10 megabytes and we have it here we can unzip it here so we'll type tar minus x xvf and then latest tar gz and we see now we have a directory wordpress uh, created and uh, this is our wordpress distribution we can uh, move this directory inside of uh, its uh, place on the apache web server so we can type move uh, wordpress uh, all the files into var www and uh, then html actually we will repeat the same command but we'll place the files inside of their new directory which was called wordpress again so it's not created we can make it mkdir so var www html WordPress and now we'll move the files and if we go to var HTML uh, we can see we have a folder uh, WordPress uh, so far in order to be accessible by the Apache uh, we need to set the user and the owner to www uh, data so we will type um, sudo chown data www data and then the name of the directory wordpress and we can type also minus r uh, for all the subdirectories and files to get okay so if we take a look again now the uh, user and the group of the wordpress installation are fixed okay so now uh, for the permissions of the directory and all the subdirectories under WordPress, uh, we can uh, uh, change them to more restrictive. So we will issue this command. Now we'll see that we removed the written uh, execute permissions uh, from the others. And uh, for the files, we can set up uh, even more restrictive uh, permissions. So when we enter to WordPress, we have uh, such permissions. And since the, the owner is WW data, we have uh, no problem with the installation. Now it's time to configure the Apache web server and to be able to surf uh, this directory WordPress. For this, we'll go to etc Apache 2 sites available. And we see that we have a default configuration for the root directory. So we are serving uh, this var www HTML. Uh, when we're accessing our uh, server and now uh, we'll create a, a new one 
So we'll type sudo nano wordpress.conf and inside I'll use a predefined configuration. Here we're setting the administrator uh, for our server. You can substitute uh, with your domain here. And then we are pointing our directory to be served, which is var www.html wordpress. Inside of this directory, we would like all the IP addresses uh, to be able to access uh, the contents of the directory and to be able to have uh, HT access uh, towards the directory. All of this is needed by the installation of uh, WordPress. So that's uh, basically the configuration. We are saving the configuration. And the next thing is to enable this configuration. Uh, so from sites available to become into the sites enabled. So for this, we'll type uh, sudo a2m site and we'll type our configuration WordPress and uh, our site uh, configuration is enabled. Of course, we have to reroute our Apache, but before this, uh, we'll also enable the mod rewrite. So we'll type sudo a2n mod uh, rewrite. Let's restart now the Apache 2 to load up our new configuration. So we'll type sudo system control restart Apache 2. And as we see, our server is restarted and functioning properly. If we go now to the browser, if we go to localhost, we see the default uh, installation and default host of Apache is showing. So we have to type WordPress in order to get to this uh, directory. Or if you would like uh, not to browse uh, localhost, uh, we can go uh, to our etc hosts uh, file and edit it and inside uh, for this address we will be pointing our www.example.com so we'll write the file and uh, wait a little bit until the changes uh, become active and switch back to the browser and now if we go to the domain example.com we'll see that uh, actually we'll be browsing our uh, WordPress installation. Okay, we are continuing. We are going uh, to our uh, WordPress installation directory. It's in var www.html WordPress. And uh, we see a sample config file here, vp config sample. So we will just move it or create a new one, which will be called uh, vp uh, config.php. Uh, so we'll type vp config sample.php into vp config with sudo in front and then with nano we'll edit the vp config uh, file. All right, in this file we'll change the database name. Our was WordPress, the user was vp user and the password was just password. We are browsing localhost and the other parameters are okay. So we are writing this with control and O and we are exiting with uh, control and X. The WordPress files are set up for installation. We return to our browser and we refresh. Actually, we have to go again to our website. So this will load up uh, the installation again. We set up uh, the language. We can enter the title of our website. And this is uh, the default admin username. So we can type here admin. And we have uh, some password. We can use the same password just for illustration purposes. Of course, um, you can use uh, the auto-generated uh, password also. We can type our email address and we confirm that we're using a weak password and clicking on install WordPress. So the installation uh, started. And after a couple of moments, we see success. Your website has been installed and we can log in into the website with the admin and admin as a password. This will get us to the dashboard of the WordPress. From here, we can administer our website 
Uh, we can also visit the website uh, currently. And you saw how we can install WordPress under Ubuntu with MariaDB and Apache. If you enjoyed the information, you can subscribe to the channel for more.